Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look here. We're going to start labeling these things uh, that we're given in our problem basically in our, in our list on the side. Okay, so what do we know about um, the variables that we're given already? Okay, what's this four kilogram going to tell us? Mm -hmm. Okay, so hopefully you've already done this or you're doing this. So M1 is equal to four. Okay, what do we know about this right here? Yeah, we do have to break it up, but this is the initial velocity of our first object, right? Of our first object, so V1. We're going to break this up now, so let's go ahead and... Oops. Break that vector up, okay? 57 degrees south of west, so I'm going to draw my vector in that direction, okay? South of west, am I going to be on the top side of the triangle or the bottom? South of west, which way should I be? On the top. Yep. Okay, so here's my 4.5. My 57 sits here because I'm touching the west axis and I'm going south of west. Okay? So from here, this would be V sub 1x and this would be V sub 1y. Okay, and going about 4.5 times cosine 57 Oops. and v sub 1y, I'll take 4.5 times sine of 57. Okay, make sure our calculator is in degrees, not radians. All right, Justin, what did you have for V sub 1x? 4.05. Is your calculator in degrees? Shoot. Okay, um, Jared, what did you have for V sub 1x? Okay. Angel, what do you have for V sub 1x? 2.4. Is that all? Negative. Good. Negative 2.4 because it's going west. Okay, we have to throw that negative in there. Uh, what do we have for V sub 1y? Adam, what do you have? 3.8. Is that all? Negative 3.8, okay? Those negatives are going to make a huge difference in your momentum equation. If you don't include those, it's going to be way, way off. Okay, so make sure we include that. Okay, then here we have, what's this 4 kilogram tell us? Yep, M sub 2. What do we know about the velocity of our second object? Yeah, and it's just east, so that means do we only have an X component or a Y component? Only x, and is it positive? Yeah. yeah, it's positive because it's going east, so v sub 2y is 0. Okay? All right, now what is this 3 meters per second south? What variable does that tell us? v sub 1 or v sub 2? v sub 1 prime, perfect. Perfect, v sub 1 prime. So v sub 1 x prime and v sub 1 y prime. This is only going south, which means it has only an x component or only a y component. Only a y, only a y component, and it's negative 5.2 and 0. Okay? So it says our overall goal is going to be to solve for the velocity of the second puck. Yes? Is that a negative 3? Yeah, you're right. Yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay? We're solving for velocity of the second puck. What does velocity have to include? Two things. Uh, magnitude. magnitude and direction. So when we're solving for velocity here, we've got to find the speed, and we have to find the angle at which it's moving. Okay, we have to include that in our answer. So let's go ahead and uh, we know V sub 2 X prime, that's what we're solving for, and V sub 2 Y prime is what we're solving for. Okay? So let's go ahead and move over here and start putting our equation together. First of all, is this elastic or inelastic? Elastic, good, because they're not sticking together. 
So we're going to start with momentum in the x direction. Okay, this is just how I draw my problems. You probably noticed that on the video. You don't have to organize your problems this way. This just kind of keeps me a little bit more organized, okay? Um, but I usually always do x first, and I put a little bracket around it just so I can kind of keep everything together. So I'm going to start with m1 times v1 in the x direction, so negative 2.4, plus m2 times velocity in the x direction for our second object which is 5.2 okay and that's going to be set equal to our finals so 4 times v sub 1 x prime we know is 0 and we're solving for v sub 2 x prime for our second object does that equation look good? oh yeah, oh, yeah. okay so now we can go ahead and start combining those things Plus, yeah. Okay, is that what we had for v sub 2x prime, 2.8? Okay, so if we know it's a positive component in the x direction, what direction is that telling us that it's going to be going? Yeah, that component is going to be going to the east. Okay, so I'm just kind of telling myself so I remember when I'm drawing my vectors later, but it's going to be going to the east. Okay, any questions so far about that? All right, let's look at momentum then in the y direction m1 times v1y is negative 3.8 plus m2 v2y is 0 okay do we see where all these numbers are coming from yeah, I need you to be able to see where those are coming from. Making this list of your variables at the beginning is just as important as it always has been because you've got lots of variables here that you're working with. Okay? Okay, did we get negative 0.8 for our v sub 2y prime? Okay, and negative tells us it's going to be going south or down. Okay, so we're all on the same page so far. What do we have right now, v sub 2x and v sub 2y? What are those values? Are they the velocity values? They are the components of our final velocity. Okay, so we need to take these two components and do what? Perfect. Build our new triangle, right? <laughs> Add those vectors tail to tip and build our new triangle. So I'm going to come up here in the corner and do that. Okay. So here's my crosshairs. I'm going to go east 2.8 and south 0.8. Here's my final velocity vector, and I want to find my angle as well.
Do we agree here? And up here? Yeah? Okay, what's my angle need to be what of what? South of east, perfect. Very good. Okay, so this is an inelastic. Go ahead and get this one written down. Uh, if you want to work on this by yourself, go for it. We're going to still work through it together as a class. So if you want to try and do it uh, on your own, see if you can get it, that's fine. But we're going to do it together as a class as well. All right. So what variable does our 2,100 kilograms tell us? M1. M1. Good. Okay. And this velocity vector right here is going to be the first object's velocity vector. So we need to break that down. Okay, 39 degrees east of north. So I'm going to draw it here. I want it to touch the north axis. 39, it's moving Hey, Neil, what'd you have for V sub 1x? <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> I got 26.4. Okay. For V sub 1x, you got 26.4? Thirty-four. Are you using sine or cosine for x? Yeah, x right here. Look, x is opposite of that angle, which means we should use sine. Yeah. So x is not always cosine. That's a hard habit to kind of break. But x should be using sine here. So we'll take thirty-four times sine of thirty-nine, which is twenty-one point four. Which makes y. You told me twenty-six point four, right? Now we know V sub 1 X is 21.4 and V sub 1 Y is 26.4. Okay, what do we know about the 1600 kilogram car and its velocity? Makes V sub 2 X what? Zero. Okay, because it tells us that it is at rest. Okay, so since these two cars um, collide inelastically, what, means ha what, what does that mean is happening to them? They're sticking together. So they collide in this crash, and then it's, these cars just kind of slide together. So that means we're solving for Vx prime and Vy prime. So we're going to use our inelastic collision equation. Okay, so M1. Sorry, I'm going to do x direction first. So momentum in the x direction. M1 times V1x, which is 21.4. Plus M2 times V2x equals M1 plus M2 times v x prime. 
Okay, why is it only labeled Vx prime here instead of V1x or V2x? Yeah, because they're sticking together. So there's only one object here on our final. Okay. So that leaves me with 3,700 times Vx prime. And 2,100 times 21.4. We agree with those numbers so far? Yeah? Okay. And then we're going to divide over that 3,700, which means we get V sub X prime to equal... Perfect. Okay, and since it's a positive in the X direction, it means we're going to be going east. Okay, that car's going to be going east, or the two cars, I guess. Okay, let's look at it in the y direction now. Did we get about 15? Okay, is it a positive in the y direction? It's going to be going. Last but not least, we have to put together those final velocity vectors. So we're going to go east, east 12.5 and north 15. Sorry, 12.15. We're going to find our final velocity vector. Go ahead and solve for that and let me know what you get. I got 19.3 meters per second at 50 degrees north of east. At 53? 50. At 50, I'm sorry. We all agree? Okay, so I want to talk about this problem because you can do it really quickly and you can do the math that proves it as well, okay? If we have a perfectly elastic collision, what does that mean in terms of energy and in terms of momentum? Yeah, we have conservation of all that energy and conservation of momentum. So that means when a ball is at rest and another object hits it, what happens to all of the energy from this first ball? It's transferred to the second, okay? So since this first one was originally at rest and we have an object coming and colliding with that, it should transfer all of its energy to that second ball. So what's going to be the, the velocity of this second object? 7.1 meters per second. And in what direction? North. What's going to happen to this first ball when it, when it collides? Stop. It comes to a complete stop. Okay? And did you see that a little bit on your, on your collision um, lab? Yeah. Did that make sense? Okay. When we have a perfectly elastic collision and all of that energy is transferred, uh, we should have a complete stop for the first object and our second object should continue. Okay? If you do the math, it's going to come out exactly like that. Okay? You can always do the math to prove it, but if you can see it in the problem, it's going to make it a little quicker. Okay? Does that make sense? 
Okay, very good. I want you to do this one last problem by yourself. Go ahead and do this one by yourself. All right, Cole, can you give me what you got for V sub 1 X prime and V sub 1 Y prime from breaking down that triangle? Okay. Yeah, what'd you get for V sub 2? Oh, I'm sorry, V sub 1 Y prime. Thank you. Two point two eight and negative two point five three. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And so those numbers came from breaking down this triangle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna set up our elastic collision equation. This is in the x direction. Okay, Adam, what do you have for v sub 2 x prime? On this part? Yeah. Okay. Angel, what do you have for V sub 2x prime? Negative 5.6. Okay. We agree? It would change our answer a little bit because this value would be positive and you would subtract it instead of add it over. So this value should be a little bit different. Okay, what do we get? Okay, that's what Cole told us originally, right? Yeah. Negative 1.65 for V sub 2 X prime. The reason that V sub 1 X prime and V sub 1 Y prime are negative is because they're going south and west, right? Those components have to be negative. So I told you if you're not careful, if you're not detail-oriented, it'll throw you off, okay? Think, think, think after we break down a triangle if we've got any negative components we have to take care of. Okay, so my V sub, I'm, I'm going to solve the Y direction here in orange. So I'm going to take 3 times 0 plus 3.5 times negative 3.1. Okay. And what we get for V sub 2 Y prime? Not quite. Not quite. Okay. I think, Cole, you told me negative 0 0.9 something. 0 0.93. 0 0.93. Okay, we'll see if we can get that now. Okay, so make sure we've got negatives plugged in. Make sure you've got everything out to come out at negative 0.93. Okay, so V sub 2x we said was negative 1.65, which goes west. Y was negative 0.93. Okay, so we want to find our final velocity here, which includes both magnitude and direction. Okay, I think I'm seeing about 1.9 meters per second. At what angle? 29. Okay, and our 29 degrees here, is it west of south or south of west? 
south of west. Very good.